Hey all, welcome back. So I want to say thank you to everyone that gave me suggestions with this thing. I'm going to try a few out and then I have a plan of my own and we're going to see what's going to happen. But today I want to show you something. I've seen this product online and I've seen other people trying it. So it's experiment time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, it's some kind of bedding, but I'm going to open it with you and I'm going to start another layer on the Louisiana Swamp Worms with this and let's see what, what it is and how they do. And then I also got this, some kind of worm food. Honestly, when I bought it, I thought the container was going to be a little bigger. It's not as big as I thought, but anyway, I haven't opened it. I don't know anything about it, so we're going to do that together. Let's go find so out. Let me start by checking on them and see how they're doing. They seem to be enjoying the worm chow I made. And they love the leaves. But I remember the amount of paper I put in here. And they are just devouring it. Um, they're doing really well. Look, I'm seeing a lot of cocoons already. And there's a little cocoon. Look. I'm a Louisiana Swamp Worm Grandma. <laughs> I swear. I know. I'm special. <laughs> um, thank you to all the people that uh, have purchased worms. So today is Friday. And we had a tremendous ice storm here. And then on top of the ice, we got snow. So outside, it's like a winter wonderland. And... I'm not able to leave my house or drive or anything, so I am hoping that I'll be able to get the worms out on Monday. Let's cross our fingers. I'm not going to rush it because I'd rather them be safe, but if I can't get them out, I'll let you all know. But I'm shooting for Monday. You know, cross your fingers. Let's see what happens. And these guys, I love them. They're so cute. Look how, how red and bulgy their clitellum is. Yeah, they're cool. I'll have them up for sale soon on my website. I gotta let them breed a little bit. So if you guys haven't checked out my website, go check it out. I have some new stuff on there. Um, new gardening supplies and things that um, I've used and I like using. Plus, of course, the worms. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm almost at a thousand. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go get my tripod so I can put this on. And then we're going to open that package and see what it is. I'll be back. All right. So, Super Grow Worm Bedding. Odorless. Okay. Just add water. It feels like it feels like a giant bag of diapers. All right. Let's see. Okay. What is this? Oh my gosh! It's like pressed paper. What do they call this paper pulp? I know it has another name. It feels like... It feels like dryer lint. <laughs> this can't be dryer lint. No, it's got little things of paper inside. You could tell. So, look. Fluffy. I wonder how much we'll get out of a package like that. So then let's see what the food looks like. Okay, it's like a chow. Yep, looks like some kind of worm chow. Let's see what the paper says. Worm food directions. Two teaspoons, food to two to three teaspoons, non-chlorinated water mix well. Pour in a line across the center of the bedding. Okay. Use one each mixture per 75 night crawlers or 200 worms. So one serving feeds 200 worms. 
Don't feed again until it's depleted. Change bedding every other feeding. Boy, I've never heard that before. But who knows? I don't think I'm going to do that part. But The only thing that concerns me is I don't know what the ingredients are. I mean, I'm sure it's okay. I've seen other worm farmers use it. It's called fat and sassy. Like, what is the percentage of protein on this? I'm going to have to look it up online. But anyway, we're going to try it anyway. So I'm going to go wet this stuff down. This fluffy stuff. And then we're going to see what it's going to look like. Well, I'm not sure how much to use. Because I don't know how much this expands, but that's why this is an experiment. It's so soft. It feels like rabbit fur. I love it. I don't think, though, for my operation, this is worth the money. But, I mean, it wasn't expensive, but I can imagine what this would cost for my bins. Now, if I could get this in bulk, like this type of material, I would love to buy it. Because they would absolutely love this. So let's see. All right. I'm going to go dampen this and then we're going to look at it. All right, guys. I added the tray to the Louisiana Swamp Worms. And I wet this down. The only thing I'm not crazy about is that it's it's clumps. Look, it's it clumps. I'm doing everything to try to break it apart. But we're going to try it anyway. Kind of messy. But that's all right. As long as it works. So I'm going to try to break it apart. It's clumpy. Is it supposed to be like this? Does anyone out there, if you've used this, comment down below and tell me what you think. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's paper, but okay. You know, I'm going to enjoy the process. But, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm, <laughs> I've always been honest with you. All right. Well, we're going to try it. So, I don't want to dampen it anymore. It's pretty damp. Now, the Louisiana worms are right there. So now that this is wet, I mean, look, look at, it's, yeah. We're going to try feeding them with the sassy, fat and sassy. So let's just do a sprinkle. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to go like this. go like that and we're gonna give it a few days and we're gonna see what they do I wonder if this has sawdust in it yeah I think it does there's little pieces of like wood or something now worms do eat sawdust wood chips they like it so yeah that definitely has sawdust in it and it seems like a little bit goes a long way. So we're going to try this and see. Now I'm going to put on top of here their, their wet bag that they came in. This is still very damp. And we're going to see what's going to happen. I'm not sure about that product. You know, I, try, I like to try different things and new experiments. So this is definitely a new one for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this or even if you've tried the food alone. Um, I'm curious to know, you know, what y'all think. So we're going to give it a try. It has, like, other languages here. Oh, look, Spanish. Comida de gusano. I speak fluent Spanish. So we're going to try it, and uh, I'll bring you back, and I'll let you know in a few days what, uh, what I think about this. But anyway, if you're not part of my worm gardening family, 
hit that subscribe button give me that little thumbs up watch the videos and I'll see you next time so today's Friday tomorrow night I'm planning on going live so write it down on your little calendar or do something <laughs> so you can remember um, I'm gonna go live and we're gonna talk uh, worms and maybe we'll peek at these and see usually it takes them more than a day to like investigate something new so we're gonna try and we're gonna see but anyway tomorrow night guys I'm going live okay so I'm gonna get back to my potato soup and I'll see you all tomorrow